number six. They head for turn number seven. Here's an attempted pass. Nope, Rusty thinks better of it. They come off with the seventh corner. The white flag is out. One more lap to go. Will it be Ricky Rudd, Rusty Wallace, Bill Elliott, or someone else that wins this race? Well, we had some slow-paced activity in the middle sections, but certainly not now as we are really battling for that win. Rusty is right on the back bumper of Ricky Rudd off of corner number one, headed for two. Rudd knows that he cannot make the slightest mistake. If he does, Rusty Wallace will stick the nose of that Pontiac in there. Again, Rudd, very smooth. We'll race down the back stretch now. Rusty Wallace looks to the inside of Ricky Rudd. They're separated by about a car lane. Now Rusty begins to close in just a little bit. He looks to the outside of Ricky Rudd. Can't find the chance to pass. He's going to have to do it in turns number six or seven. If these guys tangle, Bill Elliott is right back there in third position, seeing what's going on. Rusty will try to make a final move here. They come down through corner number six now. Rusty is going to have to make a move if he wins this race. I don't think he's going to do it. I don't think he can do it either. Ricky I... Rudd is too smooth. He has the line that he wants. He's keeping the, using the racetrack to his advantage. He's going to slow it down and then oh, turn it. They, they bump. They bump. Here they come off the seventh corner. Who's going to win it? They're side by side. Rusty is well off the track. He cannot win it, and Ricky Rudd does. Unbelievable. We knew it was going to be that kind of a race when the Woo. green flag blew again. We have a crash. Davy Allison involved in a crash. Several cars have come together. And a car also spinning off course. Maybe some oil. That's Ernie Irwin that slid off course. Gets the car pointed in the right direction and takes off again. Dale Jarrett gets fun over there somewhere. He was late to get back, and Rick, Ricky Wilson also was in a crash. He came across the start finish line. So was Brett Bodine. He was involved. So a big car crash. Well, here it is again. Rick Wilson with some major body damage to that car, and we'll see how it all happened. He's hit by Terry Labonte. Yes, he is, and Labonte goes around, and there's Davey Allison going around, and Brett Bodine gets in it in the car number 15. So a melee there on the final lap that causes several cars to come together, but the story is Ricky Rudd, who has won the Budweiser at the Glen, holding off the enormous challenge of Rusty Wallace. Coming through corner number seven, Rusty got all four tires off the racetrack. He was in the grass, but he did hang on to second, just couldn't find the opportunity to pass Ricky Rudd, and Rudd wins it. He certainly gave it that old college try. He did everything that he possibly can, but Ricky Rudd was using the racetrack to his advantage, and that's what he's supposed to do when he's up front. This will be the ninth win of his Winston Cup career. Now, this is where Ricky Rudd grabbed the lead from Daryl Waltrip. Just a point again. Rusty Racing Wallace trying the outside line again. It's not going to work. Ricky holds on to the lead. The white flag is going to come out, and we've got one more left to go at Sears Point. Ricky Rudd is the leader. Rusty Wallace is running in second spot. The final time they go through corner number one. Rusty Wallace trying to take over the lead and win $10,000, whether $76,000 in addition to the first prize money. Now closing in very tightly on Rudd into turn number three, turn number four. Rudd holds off the challenge of Rusty Wallace. They come down and enter the carousel for the final time. And Rudd still has command of this race. very, very well. He's still driving his own race out there. I can't hardly believe as, as, as high as the emotions is right now, Ricky Rudd doesn't appear to have slipped one time. Now here's the, the corner that Rusty Wallace has been able to gain. Can he this time? Well, he did go again, but he slid. He went in there so hard, he slid a little bit, but I believe he did pick up maybe a little bit, but Rudd has been doing pretty well through the exit from here on back to turn 11, but Rusty has really been going into turn 11. Let's see how things shake out here as they're nearing the checkered flag. They move through the S's. Turn number nine now. Continuing uphill through corner number 10. They'll enter a short straightaway here and then heartbreaking for corner 11. If Rusty's going to do it, he's going to have to do it here. I don't think he's even going to make a challenge. Well, he smokes the tires, gets sideways in corner number 11, and it appears as if Ricky Rudd is going to win the Banquet Frozen Boots 300. He waves the hand.
guy deserved it. He drove his heart out. Yes, he did. Ricky Rudd really performed to perfection this afternoon at Sears Point International. And now Rusty Wallace pulls alongside, and they both wave to each other and say, nice job. Clean racing, no question about that here today. Just a lot of sportsmanship and good, clean competition shown among all the competitors. Well, Rudd had to do some good hard driving when Rusty got up beside him up there, but he did Benny what I think he had to do. Well, he had course. to force him right off the racetrack. Well, that's if he gave Wallace the that position starting in the S's, Rusty Wallace was going to pass him. And away goes the victory. Yes, he is. In stages. He sure is. He's picked off Mark Martin, and now he's about to pass and does Morgan Shepard. The white flag is out. One more lap to go for Brett Bodine. But here comes Daryl Waltrip. He is charging. He has passed Terry Labonte and now has clear racetrack between himself and Bodine. There's the separation between the two. Can Brett Bodine hold on for his first Winston Cup win? Here he comes off the fourth corner. He's going to do it. Brett Bodine wins the first Union 400. Look at the crew celebrate. This might be the happiest driver you've ever seen in your life. I think you may be right. <laughs> These two guys have been racing for the last 30 laps. Here's the battle. Look at this. Davey Allison and Jeff Bodine banging together, coming off the fourth corner, but Bodine holds on to the position. That was for eighth spot. And Brett, and rather, Jeff Bodine got it. Let's go to John Kernan, who's with Larry.